life with it's the g.com thank you so much for tuning in g gang but you at holla back we are here once again if you are not subscribed to the channel and just coming across it i just want to let you know we are all about higher ascension about taking ourselves to the next level spirit mind and body and that is what it's about as far as detoxing our lives all right remove all those toxins out of our lives not just our bodies but our lives i'm talking situations i'm talking people i'm talking everything okay get them things out of your life but um the reason why that's very important is not because it's going to make you overall just healthy and vital have that healthy and vitality but it's going to connect you to a diff a deeper aspect of yourself and the only reason why i can say that is because when I started on this journey, when I decide, decided to, you know, I'm going to start detoxing and cleansing my organs and really focused on, you know, what goes in my body um, because I understand the law of nature that says as within, so without. So, you know, what I put in my body can manifest externally. So if I'm not mindful of the things that I'm putting in my body, then, you know, you're going to get all kind of crazy things happen outside your, outside of your world. It's just going to be coming in. You. Like, well, how I end up in this situation? How I end up in this situation? Why does always keep happening to me? You know? And the only reason why I can say that is because I have been there. And once I let go of that fogginess that can happen in my life, once I started letting go of certain foods and, and certain things, like my mind has started to become clear on so many things. I've been working on breathing exercises. And when I say that it removes the cloudiness from my mind and connects me to a deeper aspect with myself, I start to um, learn different things about who I am um, as far as like my true self. You know, I'm ascending into my higher consciousness. So I am discovering the truth about myself Myself, my culture my family etc and one thing that you're going to um, come gonna see um, on this channel and on the website more more so is if you saw in the beginning I had a weebie gulagichi flag is <laughs> because I currently okay let me let me put it away all nice you know what I'm saying? but I have recently um, joined the coalition to bring back awareness of the Gola people, about the tradition, about the history, and to help preserve the land of the Gola Geechee people. And that is what my heritage is on my maternal side is Gullah Geechee. And for those that don't know what the Gullah Geechee are, I really recommend that you um, just uh, look it up and study it. Because one thing that I have discovered in terms of um, my quest for truth and knowledge, especially history, is that um, there's so many things that are hidden and are covered up and are not disclosed to us in the school systems, of course, religious systems, political systems, and all these systems that they only want to give you what they want you what they want you to to know, what they want you to see. So the reality that we're living in, the society we're living in, is a, a constructed reality. It's not real reality. It's a constructed reality predicated upon the people that have colonized this reality, that have boxed in this reality, that want to remain in power, if you know what I mean. Okay. Because one thing that I have discovered and what really tapped into my soul was when I started learning about the Gullah Geechee people and the fact that there was something called the Gullah Wars. There was something called the Gullah Wars. So the Gullah Wars were pretty much the um, enslaved Africans that were here in this country teaming up with the Native Americans that were already in the country. And I want to just throw this out here that the original Natives had a very dark skin. Okay, so it was kind of like, um, they, so they teamed up and they rebelled. 
they rebelled against this the colonization that was happening and the land that was being stolen like when pe when they show and I I've, I've realized that you know when you go to Netflix and you go into all these movies that start coming out they keep showing all these slave movies and when you're in school like they give you all these sl like they tell you about slavery but they don't necessarily give you the full truth okay they want to make it seem like a lot of the slaves just bent over and took it they want to make it seem like a lot of the slaves are and i don't even like calling them slaves but the enslaved people just kind of accepted it and lived in fear when that was not it um the goal of wars was the rebellion it was a hundred year rebellion and they rebelled the whole time the whole time there was rebellions and they were winning that's what they don't want you to know they don't want you to know that they said no we ain't taking this and they don't want you to know that they were winning and kicking ass <laughs> they was kicking ass to the point where that's why abraham lincoln said you know what um yeah we're gonna have to end this yeah we're gonna have to end this because yeah this ain't gonna be pretty if we keep it up that's the real reason why slavery ended or how how should i say it chattel slavery ended because if you know they took it from being a f mm, forced slavery they took it from being forced slavery to being more mental psychological slavery so that you don't re realize that you're enslaved still <laughs> now you're just choosing to, to work right because they're giving you some money now we just in the indentured servitude aspect of uh you know working and and being told what to do and we're still not um, really connecting with who we really are as spiritual beings but what i like about how the world is going now is that people are beginning to waken up people are beginning to open their eyes people are beginning to see um the truth and don't get me wrong there's a lot of um lies out there disguised as truth and i'm not speaking in terms of conspiracy theorists because there's a lot of truth in conspiracy but you have to have that um intuition and discernment within you to know the truth of what you're listening to um, i'll take in information but you know you don't believe everything and there's this new thing that's actually going around and i just want to touch on it for a little bit it's called it's called new age to jesus movement and so a lot of people who are in the conscious and spiritual communities are kind of like speaking up about this because what's happening is there was there's this movement that was happening over the last couple of years called the new age movement and that's the movement that was starting to really highlight um chakras just spirituality um a lot of eastern spirituality especially and things that you know our ancestors from long ago um were practicing and studying and working with nature and working with herbs and working with oils and really um cultivating and work, uh, working with the earth and so there was these these people that came on the scene these people on youtube and all that who became these big time um influencers and they were doing tarot readings i mean they were doing all this new age stuff and and just recently they started converting back to religion like new age and then talking about oh well you know the errors of my ways now i don't know why they decided to just shift gears um like that but the conspiracy or the theory is that they were always kind of working within the system anyway to kind of trap the people who knows i don't know um why they do it but just know there's a lot of false teachings out there as for me I choose not to really speak so much on spirituality um, without really teaching um, ancient history. And that's why I'm not really into being new age. I'm more so into being um, truth about who I am and who my ancestors were. Because as long as I follow the ways of my ancestors, then I won't be steered in the wrong direction. And what happened with my ancestors in terms of enslavement is that they were taken away from their history from their culture separated from their families forced to eat um low vibrational foods and which caused them to sink into more low vibrations they were taken out of their element of a hot 
climate and to um just a, a different shift of elements because you can you can know that africa is a different uh element than america no matter how hot it gets here it's still not going to be the same type of frequency that they had over there and plus you know the trauma that they were facing on those ships and the trauma they faced when they got here it was all intentional to bring them to a low vibrational state and so therefore that trauma was just passed down as well as the indoctrinization but i'm not going to go that deep into this video i just wanted to give you a little bit of something something and the reason why i even took that tangent way off is because like i said um learning about my culture the gola Gichi people who were the creme de la creme of west africa they came they taught agriculture they taught um holistic medicine i mean these people were absolutely amazing and like i said they rebelled the whole time a lot of the times when they talk about slavery and they're talking about um the enslaved people would migrate north for freedom when in actuality a lot of them were actually migrating to florida and um the southern part to join forces with the Gullah Geechee people and so therefore it was really becoming this big thing and now what's happening is that the government the united states government promised the Geechee people um they were supposed to have some a form of reparation and it was stolen from them millions of dollars was stolen from the people and now they're fighting to um preserve the land that has that is theirs that's the only piece of history that the Gullah Geechee people have now really is the land and um that's even being kind of taken over because in the sea islands you're having all these resorts and you know country clubs and you know white folks coming in and building houses and then just coming in like you know history never fucking you know excuse me <clears throat> History never fucking stops repeating itself. Like, good freaking grief. Like, give us a break. Give us, you know, like, yo, like, don't give us nothing. I just, my people wake up. How about that? My people wake up, yo. We got to wake up. We got to stand up for each other. And we got to learn the truth of who we are. Damn. And so that's why I am so passionate. So shout out to the Gullah Geechee people. Shout out to the Gullah Geechee Coalition. A percentage of proceeds from Instagram.com is going to the coalition because I am about bringing truth to the people, bringing truth to the culture, and then maybe once we get to a level of truth, we can get to a level of peace and harmony within ourselves, within our communities, so that we can build because I'm all for that. Um, I'm not against anyone. I'm just for um, truth, justice, and harmony within our communities, okay? Because this this earth is for us to have a human experience this reality is for us to have a human experience and in order to have a true human experience experience we should be able to control our own experiences without outside entities coming in and knocking us off our thrones and not only knocking us off our thrones and the only reason why it's easy for them to knock us off our thrones is because we're allowing it nothing can happen nothing can happen without our consent so we're allowing it by being ignorant and by not knowing who we are but there's are plenty of channels out there that talk about truth to talk about history um and everything and i'm not gonna i'm not gonna go so much in depth in that unless y'all want to hear you know more of truth in that way you just have to let me know but um i do study intensely on various subjects and that's one of them <laughs> but that's the toxins on us that i mean when i say our spiritual level of toxicity is that not knowing because we have to realize this is a spiritual warfare this is not just physical warfare mental warfare this is spiritual warfare so we have to really take control of our spirit and what i love about that is the fact that I am doing a lot of breathing exercises. I'm doing um, comedic yoga. So make sure you stay in tune for that. Um, I'm getting space together so that I can be able to, you know, share and teach more classes in terms of yoga classes and fitness classes because I think it's important to really, you know, move our bodies, get ourselves um, active and so that we can clear our minds and get ourselves on a right frequency because we are ascending and it's about ascension. 
what else am I talking about today? So, that's one thing. Um, another thing that I want to say is, um, if you have not yet, please go to itsthegee.com and subscribe to the newsletter. Stay up to date. Stay in touch. You know, I have a lot of good tidbits and things going on that um, I like to share with um, my uh, family, right? My family. And you'll see me write family. You'll see me write F-A-M-B-L-Y. And that's a Gola Geechee um, vernacular uh the Gullah Geechee have their own language it's, it's island language and it's a lot of broken english and they say family so you'll see me saying family so stay in touch with the family by signing up to the website newsletter and i do give away monthly prizes as well so if you want to um win some monthly prizes such as detox teas water bottles i mean who, whatever you know that i feel like giving away that month i will pick two lucky winners each month to just give to because I believe in the law of reciprocity. I believe that if what you give, you get. And I love to just give from my heart and my spirit and my soul anyways, especially to those that I that support. So definitely stay in touch. Make sure you subscribe because I do give out monthly prizes, okay? And speaking of monthly prizes, I do want to shout out one of um, my subscribers, a loyal subscriber that definitely, um, I have taken notice to the fact that he's consistently, um, commenting videos, liking, liking posts and staying up to date. He signed up for the newsletter and I didn't want his actions to go unnoticed. And then, um, what I love, and that's another thing. This is why I want y'all to stay in touch. Okay. Because y'all are awesome, man. People are fantastic. Oh my gosh. Like, you, uh, the the time like man like when you meet new people and you see what they're about people can teach you so much you can learn so much from other people and that's what i was able to learn from my subscriber um just an amazing person i'm like wow like what a great person super talented just very nice so knowledgeable and intelligent and i am so grateful so shout out to you chunta Ankh. And his name isn't even interesting. His name, Chunta Ankh, that he chose as actually means um, cheating life. And he's really into native culture um, and just knowing who he is um, and really getting back to his roots as well. So I want to say thank you so much, Chunta Ankh. I appreciate you. His channel is going to be in the description box below. So make sure you you know give him a subscribe and shout him out as well look at his videos he was doing a dr cb challenge he has a newsletter as well he does a lot of writing and check this out he's an author <laughs> he is an author y'all um he has this amazing book it's called daytona dreams and when i tell you I mean, I'm a book fanatic anyway, but I couldn't put this book down. It was so, it was so good. Like I got lost in it, like to the point where my imagination took over so much because it was just that engaging of a book. And I mean, just bomb. So they dealt, Tone of Dreams, that link will be in the description as well. Shout out to you, Tune to Ong. You are amazing. And I definitely think that y'all should definitely support this young brother right here because he definitely has uh, a lot going for himself. He just recently did a Dr. CB challenge, which he was, um, you know, just eating a lot of the foods that Dr. CB recommended on his food list. And he even motivated me. So that was one of the reasons why I was motivated to go vegan. And also, um, he does MMA training so he's a personal trainer so very knowledgeable brother um thank you so much for the support and i even sent him a nice little subscriber box um to show my appreciation so like i said if you're out there and you're watching you know you you get a lot of rewards when you um interact you know what I'm saying? and uh be amongst the family you know just comment subscribe and, and and let me get to know you and as we get to know each other because you know this is all about building we are building communities we are building and really linking and connecting and don't let this social distancing stuff stop us from linking here like this is how we're linking now right via internet via social media so let's continue to build 
let's continue to um, network and just kind of see where we can go so i thank you so much to everyone who has watched the video subscribed to the channel i appreciate it i have so much new stuff coming for you in terms of detox digestion um just eating well health and wellness I mean, so many things that are, are, are on its way. I've been trying so many new things. Um, so make sure you keep it locked right here. And there will be so much more to come. But I just wanted to bring that to you. And I will talk to you later. Ashe and Hotep. That's going to be the new closeout. So, you know, I'm, I'm evolving. So we're going to say Ashe and Hotep. It's the G.com. Rock on. <laughs> and I'll talk to y'all later.